Viet Cong Tunnels, Clever Underground Network Viet Cong Tunnels, Clever Underground Network At the heart of this strategy was the construction of an extensive network of underground tunnels, which served as a vital tool in their fight for independence. These tunnels, collectively known as the Viet Cong Tunnels, were a remarkable feat of engineering and played a crucial role in the success of the Viet Cong's guerrilla warfare tactics. The Viet Cong tunnels were primarily located in the Chu Chi district, just outside the bustling city of Saigon, now Ho Chi Minh City. This area was strategically important for its proximity to major US military bases and its role as a key transport route. The tunnels stretched for miles, connecting villages, hiding places, weapon caches, and command centers in what can only be described as a labyrinth beneath the ground. One of the key objectives of the Viet Cong tunnels was to provide a secure sanctuary for the Viet Cong fighters. These tunnels were impressively designed and ingeniously concealed. They were dug deep underground and featured multiple layers, often going as far down as 10 meters. The top layer was primarily used for ventilation and as an escape route, while deeper layers served various purposes such as living quarters, meeting rooms, hospitals, and storage areas. The Viet Cong took great care to conceal the entrances to these tunnels, making them virtually impossible to detect. They were typically disguised as termite mounds, spider holes, or hidden under vegetation, blending seamlessly into the surrounding landscape. This allowed the Viet Cong fighters to move undetected, launching surprise attacks on enemy forces and then rapidly disappearing into the tunnels before any counterattack could be mounted. These tunnels were not merely confined to the Chu Chi district, they extended throughout several parts of Vietnam. In fact, it is estimated that there were over 250 kilometers of tunnels in total. The complex network facilitated communication and coordination between different Viet Cong units, allowing for swift responses to enemy movements. Life in the tunnels was far from easy. The cramped quarters, lack of sunlight, and the constant threat of flooding posed significant challenges for the Viet Cong fighters. However, their resilience and determination kept them going. They developed ingenious ways to cope with these difficulties, such as utilizing ingenious ventilation systems to pump in fresh air and expel carbon dioxide. The tunnels were not only used for military purposes but also served as a shelter for civilians during times of intense bombing. The Viet Cong ensured that the tunnels were equipped with basic necessities such as kitchens, sleeping areas, and even schools. This allowed them to maintain a sense of normalcy even in the midst of war. Despite the hardships, the Viet Cong's tunnels played a crucial role in their ultimate success against the United States and its allies. The tunnels provided a tactical advantage, allowing them to launch guerrilla-style attacks and then disappear quickly. Additionally, the complex network of tunnels made it extremely challenging for the U.S. forces to locate and destroy them. The Viet Cong had the upper hand, using the tunnels to their advantage by luring enemy soldiers into traps and ambushes. The Viet Cong tunnels have since become an iconic symbol of the Vietnam War. They are a testament to the resourcefulness and resilience of the Vietnamese people. Today, some sections of the tunnels have been preserved and turned into tourist attractions, allowing visitors to gain a glimpse into the life of the Viet Cong fighters. The construction and utilization of the Viet Cong tunnels during the Vietnam War demonstrated the resourcefulness and resilience of the Vietnamese people in their fight for independence. These underground networks, strategically located in the Chu Chi district and spanning over 250 kilometers, served as a vital tool for the Viet Cong's guerrilla warfare tactics. The primary objective of the Viet Cong tunnels was to offer a secure refuge for their fighters. These meticulously designed tunnels were deeply concealed and featured multiple layers, providing living quarters, meeting rooms, 
hospitals, and storage areas. The entrances to these tunnels were expertly disguised as termite mounds, spider holes, or hidden under vegetation, making them virtually undetectable. Moreover, the complex network of tunnels allowed for seamless communication and coordination between different Viet Cong units, facilitating swift responses to the movements of enemy forces. Despite the challenges posed by the cramped quarters, lack of sunlight, and constant threat of flooding, the resilience of the Viet Cong fighters remained unwavering. They devised ingenious ventilation systems to pump in fresh air and expel harmful gases, ensuring their survival in the tunnels. The tunnels served not only as military strongholds but also provided shelter for civilians during intense bombing campaigns. Equipped with basic necessities such as kitchens, sleeping areas, and even schools, these tunnels offered a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos of war. The Viet Cong's ingenious use of the tunnels played a critical role in their ultimate success against the United States and its allies. The tunnels provided a strategic advantage, enabling them to launch surprise attacks and quickly evade capture. The intricate network made it exceedingly difficult for the U.S. forces to locate and destroy the tunnels, giving the Viet Cong the upper hand in engagements. Even today, the Viet Cong tunnels remain a powerful symbol of the Vietnam War. Preserved sections of the tunnels have been transformed into tourist attractions, allowing visitors to gain insight into the daily life and challenges faced by the Viet Cong fighters. In summary, the Viet Cong tunnels were an impressive engineering accomplishment and a testament to the unwavering determination of the Vietnamese people. The legacy of the Viet Cong tunnels serves as a reminder of the incredible ingenuity and perseverance of those who fought for Vietnam's independence. The Viet Cong tunnels were a remarkable feat of engineering and played a crucial role in the success of the Viet Cong's guerrilla warfare tactics during the Vietnam War. These tunnels, primarily located in the Chu Chi district, stretched for miles and served as a hidden and secure base of operations for the Viet Cong fighters. The construction of the tunnels was strategically designed to provide a sanctuary for the Viet Cong. They were ingeniously concealed, with multiple layers and disguised entrances, making them virtually undetectable. The top layer served as ventilation and escape routes, while deeper layers contained living quarters, meeting rooms, hospitals, and storage areas. The extensive tunnel network facilitated communication and coordination between different Viet Cong units, allowing for swift responses to enemy movements. Life in the tunnels was challenging, with cramped conditions and the constant threat of flooding. However, the resourcefulness of the Viet Cong fighters allowed them to overcome these difficulties and adapt to their underground living conditions. The tunnels also played a humanitarian role, providing shelter for civilians during intense bombing campaigns. They were equipped with basic necessities to maintain a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos of war. The tunnels were a symbol of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The Viet Cong's use of the tunnels gave them a significant advantage over the technologically superior US forces.